I threw on a sewing make and decided to get ready to start my day. So the other day, I took my vacuum cleaner in for service and it is the same place that also sells and services sewing machines and while i was there i was looking on their wall of all their sewing feet and they had this zipper foot that i was interested in but i had to order it because they didn't have it in the store so i got a call that my zipper foot is in and it's ready so i'm going to go pick it up and i thought I would take you with me. All right, so let's go get this zipper foot. Hey, I'm here. Let me get my mask on and get ready to pick up my foot. I don't have anything that I am making with this foot, but it was just something I thought would be nice to have. And I just need you to sign here that you are picking it up. Okay. And it, just to make sure it's this one, right? Yes. Okay, okay. This is the one. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, so I picked up the foot. It's called the Zipper Foot Right. So this foot is good for getting close to edges of a zipper, piping, and also if you want to apply some type of trim. So I thought it was a good foot to have in a good foot. That reminds me of that James Brown song, good foot. But anyway, I remember times when I was trying to sew like a, a lapped zipper and I think something like this would have really come in handy. So I found one on Amazon and if you're interested, I will put a link to one that may fit your machine, but it just looks something like this. So you can adjust your needle and move it over a little bit and get it close to whatever you may be sewing that's lined up with this edge. So yes, I thought this was nice to have. I wanna show you all the project that I'm working on next. It is this vintage pattern, a very easy bow. I wanna make this long view here C. It has, or it calls for 13 buttons. And I want to use this gingham. I already cut all the pieces out. And then I purchased these orange buttons to go down the front. So hopefully this will turn out cute. And this little piece right here is not attached. It's just a scarf. So they have a scarf in the pattern and then you just take the scarf and you can tie it on the side of the dress. So I thought that was interesting because to me, it looks like it's attached, but I guess it's just tied on to the side. So I realized something as I was sewing this dress. I was thinking about my new foot and all the different ways that I can use it. Well, I love sewing bodysuits and a lot of times when I make bodysuits, I use snap tape. So I realized that I can use the sewing foot to get around these snaps when I'm sewing on this snap tape. So this is what the snap tape looks like and it just goes in the crotch area so that you can you know, keep the front and the back together. So I will actually put a link in the description if you're interested in getting some snap tape. Okay, so my dress is all done. Now this fabric I believe I purchased from Fashion Fabrics Club online. 
The dress has a quarter inch elastic that goes into the front and it's threaded all the way from the front to the back and all the way to the other side. Then there are buttons down the front and there are straps and there are pockets. And one thing that I did was I actually cut the dress too short. So the hem was long according to the pattern description and I thought, well, I'll just cut off some. Well, I ended up cutting off too much. So I had enough fabric and what I decided to do was just cut off a long strip of fabric to pin it to the bottom of the hem just to create some length and get some of the length back. What I did do is I added a belt. So I had enough fabric that I just created a really, really long belt so that I can have multiple ways to tie the belt. The belt was the only addition that I made to this pattern. Well, let me tell you about this top that I'm wearing. I actually purchased this top on Amazon. I thought it was really cute. So if you're interested, I will put a link to that down below. And I actually purchased it in white also. This is kind of like a tan beigey kind of color. Okay, so for my love share, I want to share another product that I learned about recently. And it's called the Sock Dock. And this is a cool little tool because it folds up so it's easy to organize it and store it away. But it keeps up with your socks. So when you're washing, you know how sometimes you pull out your socks and you're missing some. It's like they got eaten in the machine or something. Well, this will keep all of your socks together. It's good for masks, undergarments, any little small items that you want to keep up with so that they won't get lost or eaten in your washing machine.